What's up, guys? Welcome back to Random Happenings. So today is May 4th. So first off, may the 4th be with you. Um, so today we are going to try our hand at Rancho Wraps and making Yodoritas. So it should be pretty fun. Diana's in the kitchen. She is going to start everything, all the prep work. I'm going to be there just to try the Yodorita, try to get me through these Tell them what a crazy is. times. Uh, we will get to that point. <laughs> um, so come with us and see what's happening. So here we are with Diana. She is doing her prep. Say hello. Hi. Okay, so. so we're starting out with the coleslaw. Um, requires cabbage. And I didn't buy cabbage. I bought the already bagged cabbage. I cheated a little bit. So I got two cups of cabbage here. And I'm now grating up some carrots that go in that. And I've already diced up my red onion. And then we're going to make the dressing for the coleslaw after that. So where did you get this recipe for? Oh, on um, Pinterest. Oh, Ashley Craft, she posted it last summer, about a year ago actually, May 19th. And uh, so thank you, Ashley. We will well, try her. Hopefully they'll turn out good, as good as yours, because you said you love them, so. We have our coleslaw already in the pan. Right. And what else you got going on We have right two there? cups of cabbage here, half a cup of carrots or more and a half a cup of red onion. And that's all gonna get mixed together. And now we're going to make the dressing for that. Okay, now we're making the sauce for the cabbage. We have uh, three cups of red wine vinegar. Now her recipe called for apple cider vinegar. I didn't have any of that and I figured as long as it's acidic, will be okay. And a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I have that. I have the whole Dijon mustard here. A teaspoon of that. And a tablespoon of olive oil. Oops, I got to get my olive oil. Hey, Devin. have a little bit of olive oil here. Calls for a tablespoon. Tablespoon Okay, so you added the basil flakes already? Added the basil, and next is two teaspoons of sugar. Teaspoon of sugar, and salt and pepper to taste. So I'll add a pinch of kosher salt. little bit of crushed black pepper, brown pepper, and then we'll give it a whisk. Mm. Can smell it. You can smell it. <laughs> sure can. Smell that vinegar. Okay, and then we... Okay, now she says to pour the dressing over. And then we'll give it a toss. I might need that straight. Yeah, that's good. It's gonna be good with it. Now we're gonna make the creamy sauce that goes over the slaw. Awesome. And into the fridge goes the coleslaw to keep cool. So now... Now we're making the peppercorn dressing and it calls for an English cucumber peeled and grated. And then you let it sit for about 10 minutes until the water is drawn out of it. And then you squeeze all the liquid out of it so it doesn't make your sauce watery. So now we're letting that the cucumber sit and release the water and we're adding two cups of Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. And this is the start of our sauce. So we add that, half of a squeezed lemon, 
probably add more if you like. So Dee Dee's gone ahead and minced the garlic. She's gonna put on the side. Yeah. The next. That goes inside here. Mm -hmm. and the next uh, step is is, a, is um, a teaspoon of dill weed and a teaspoon of fresh mint. So we have our mint and our dill here. I'm going to give it a little rinse and then pat it dry. It says a teaspoon, so I'll just take a few leaves. Okay, so I've rinsed off my mint and dill, about a teaspoon of each. I'm going to give them a little rough chop, ready to go into the dressing. that we've been waiting for and we're going to squeeze that so we can put it in a if you have a little cheesecloth or a little clean kitchen towel That there is the finished product, adding the cucumbers in. Mm -hmm. After all that water was taken out. Now, she recommended that you make it a day ahead or you give it a long time to for the flavors to melt, but we're just gonna give we it a little. We need to eat on May 4th. <laughs> <laughs> we need to eat it today. So Not on Revenge of the 5th, we need May can go in the fridge while we get our hot dogs and pork loin. It is Yoda Rita time, so we are going to put this together, and I'm going to kind of walk Dee Dee into it. She's going to be doing our Yoda Rita, putting it together. So first off, she's going to take some ice, and she's going to put it into our shaker. Right, that's good. Perfect. Is that enough? Yeah, that's perfect. And then it's going to take a shot of... Tequila. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's And take a little bit of sweet and sour. some limes right here. I go in just like that. Perfect. And then we are going to now pour the
next we have Yoda's eyes. So this and is just, take two because we tried limes and they kind of just <laughs> they just to the bottom. Sank. So we also saw olives, so but I just took a little plastic toothpick and put one on either side. There and there's go. his little eyes. There's his eyes. Now let's make his little coat. I just Okay, so I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna try <laughs> to see if I can make I this. couldn't do it. So we're trying to make a little robe and with a little plastic. Yeah, well, well, yeah, we're uh, all the brown. We're kind of trying to do this on. See the trouble that we were having. That's okay. That's a good, good start there. <laughs> Yay! And there is our Yoda. Good first attempt. Oops. That's good. There's our Yoda. <laughs> There's our Yoda Rita. Yoda Rita. May the fourth be with you. Okay. Don't I want to show all the chicken? All right, so let me try some here. Let me try right here. Okay. As margaritas go, that's not bad. <laughs> Could be a little stronger, but still. I think I put too much. Hey, no. there is eyes. There he is. Aww. <laughs> very, very good. Get drunk, get drunk, we will. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> drunk, you will get. Okay, Devin's turn to try it. What do you think? What do you think? Fruity. Fruity? Fruity. It's sour. sour. <laughs> Boy. Well, when you don't get as much salt, it tastes kind of fruity. Well, lime is a fruit. So Rancho Wraps deserve homemade naan bread. So we have the recipe that we made for naan bread, or Diana Or does, flatbread. Or flatbread. Um, and it is similar, with a, the exception of just a couple steps, to making homemade tortillas, which we will be putting another video on how to make some homemade tortillas um, for you guys to use and hopefully enjoy. But right now we are starting this whole process with homemade naan bread for our Rancho Wraps for May the 4th. The recipe I got was from another one from Pinterest. It's a garlic naan bread, but we're just going to use a little bit of melted butter. The recipe is really easy. It's just uh, flour, a little bit of sugar, salt, and uh, warm milk, and yogurt plain yogurt. Then you let it rise, oh yeast, you let it rise for an hour, and then kind of roll them out to whatever shape, however big you want them. So that this recipe that I made uh, makes a dozen. So that's pretty good. Let's stretch it out a little bit. This should be big enough for our launch wrap. Mm -hmm. And then you Put a little bit of melted butter on it. You gotta see if this is hot enough. Put a little butter on this side. Just a little bit of basil that I had. Now it's time to cut the pork loin. Pork loin. I'm gonna try to cut it very thin. Okay. Now, yeah. no, just right there. now we're gonna pound them. So I need 
Ja, så. Tack. Här är det snart. Jag tror det är här. Vi vill se hur det går ut. So now we're going to make our Ronto wrap. This is our homemade naan bread. We're using this instead of pita bread. And then we're gonna put a couple... The sauce? First, this goes fresh, right? I think you put the sauce on the bread. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess whatever order you want. So this is the peppercorn dressing. However much you want. And then... This is our pork loin. Put a couple of pieces of that. And here comes our sausage. And our sausage. And then, oops, I need a little, you know, pork cake. Or a spoon. Thank you. We'll take a little bit of our coleslaw. Our rancho wrap. Rancho wrap. You could probably put a little more if you like. There it is. And then we're gonna plate it with a couple of space chips from Planet <laughs> Door Itos. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Man, that was awesome. Building those Ronto wraps and making those Yoda Ritas. Uh, they taste outstanding. Um, great way to celebrate. Yeah, it was a great way to celebrate May the 4th. So may the 4th be with you. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn that bell notification on so you'll know when we go live or post new videos. Uh, but again, thank you very much for joining us and that's what's happening.